Welcome back to my channel. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Appreciate you. All right, so look, I'm actually uploading two videos today because I didn't upload one video yesterday. I was super busy and I was not feeling it. Look, when I don't get on here, it, it can be a whole type of reason for why. Like I want to be consistent and get on here every day. So to make up for it, I'm dropping two videos today. Don't tell them about it. So I'll drop another video later on tonight. But I was actually passing through. I, I love YouTube. Like, I watch. That's the only thing I watch for it is YouTube. So, but pass through Jay-Z billion, billionaire lifestyle and network with this new house and it's this new car and more or whatever. Um, and, you know, that's going to be my lifestyle soon. Hopefully be your lifestyle soon. I mean, it don't have to be, you know what I'm saying? I don't feel like you have to be a billionaire to live comfortably or uh, you know, live at home, you know, it's just wherever you see yourself, you know what I'm saying? And I see myself as a billionaire one day, you know, but that's just me, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> but yeah, let's get into the video and see what Jay Z got going on. You know, you know, they say he has great instincts. Welcome back to another video, guys, where today we'll be discussing the infamous Jay-Z, including his net worth, his money, and his lavish lifestyle. If you're interested in finding out a bit more about the rap sensation, stay tuned to find out. First of all, make sure you subscribe to our channel before we jump into the video. Don't forget to turn on notifications either, so you don't miss out on any of the good stuff. Now, let's get into it. First up, who exactly is Jay-Z? Whether or not you know who Jay-Z is or not, you will certainly have heard his name at some point or another. You will definitely heard a fair few of his hit singles, too. Rhyming since the 80s, Jay-Z is an icon when it comes to the rap world and has led on a huge stream of hits including Empire State of Mind, The Story of OJ, Run This Town, and tons more. He rose to popularity after founding his own record label, Rockefeller Records, in 1995 and releasing his debut studio album within that year. He since released 12 more studio albums and worked on a bunch of collaborations with other creators. Now, he's considered a rap at full sale by technology programs are designed with a different approach to learning. A hip hop and hip hop's first billionaire. So, how did he get there? Let's start off with taking a look at his lifestyle. <clears throat> Jay Z has a luxurious private life and lifestyle. He's married to the one and the only Beyonce, and the couple share three beautiful children together. After growing up in a poverty stricken ghetto in New York, he lives comfortably. Hey, this is way off topic, but I don't know if y'all noticed, but the most successful people in the world, well, besides, well, it was Kanye. So, Actually, Kanye do count. He do count. But with him and Kim's situation, that's you know, that's 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 unfortunate. You know what I'm saying? That's a, that's just an unfortunate situation. You feel me? But um, and you could say Dr. Dre too, but I mean, it was together for math. So that don't count either. But anyway, um, I, you notice the ones who be like with one girl, like with one um uh, woman or whatever. Like they be the most successful. I don't know if y'all noticed that, bro. Like I noticed that. Like you, you get with one woman, you know what I'm saying? Um, you be the most successful, you know what I'm saying? But shoot, these days, boy, I don't know. That's kind of hard to find, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes, you know, but if you get one, you know, make sure you hold on tight. That's all I can say. But yeah, that's all I wanted to say. In as well after successfully turning to the rap industry to escape a life of drugs and violence. Since then, he's really made a name for himself and lives the kind of life he's only dreamt about as a kid. Now he spends his money on expensive real estate, gorgeous jewelry and clothes, investments, vacations, and much more. Now that we've had a look at who Jay-Z is and what his lifestyle is like, let's talk about his money. First, his net worth. Jay-Z spent a long time racing P. Diddy to the top to secure the first Hip Hopper's billion, and it was a race well worth the trouble. Since then, he's accumulated a net worth of an incredible $1.4 billion. He's said to earn around $80 million a year through various business ventures, as well as his music. So, where does all that money go? Jay-Z is far from modest with his money and likes to make a statement with some of his purchases. He and Beyonce own some glorious items amongst the two of them. Let's have a look at what some of these items are. First up on the list is a collection of impressive real estate. Not unlike some other celebrities we've looked at in the past, Jay-Z and B own more than one to die for a mansion. However, these two took their real estate empire to the extreme and have built it up to a substantial size. Over the years, both celebrities have resided in some pretty gorgeous gems, and today is no different. Here are some of the properties they call home as of 2021. 
Jay-Z resides with his family in Los Angeles in a ginormous Bel Air mansion in Pittsburgh King. The real estate gem put them back a hefty $88 million and every aspect of the show. But that's so nice. Like, how can you not be inspired? You know what I'm saying? Like, how can you not be inspired, man? You know? It's gonna be me one day. That's all I'm gonna say. You know, I'm 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 like you know how you you know how I don't know what they used to call it. What is it? like it's, it's like window shopping or something like that. And I ain't gonna lie to y'all, bro. I be window shopping like a mother effort. And I don't window shop as in on like jewelry or shoes or clothes. Like that stuff is like I don't even care about that stuff anymore. Like I used to care about that stuff when I was a little bit young. I don't care, bro. Like I'm the type of person who get rich, but I don't care about no jewelry, bro, nothing like that. And if I care about any clothes, you know, stuff like that. Bro, I am care about my brand. Like, you feel me? <laughs> I'm just wearing my brand. Like, that's all I care about, bro. Like, all that extra stuff, bro, y'all can have it. You feel me? Oh, not only is it huge, but it gets lavishly decked out with some show stopping decor and some gorgeous art projection. Encompassing six buildings with eight spacious bedrooms, the mansion possesses multiple pools, staff quarters, and basketball courts. Overall, this is a pretty impressive house. As I say house with air quotes because this is truly a beast of a home. Next up is their pad in New Orleans. Being such prominent names in the music industry, it would be a crime for the two not to have a place in the Big Easy. This is no ordinary home, though. Not that their other homes are ordinary. This one just has a special twist that makes it even more fantastic. This mansion in New Orleans is actually a converted historical church and it resides in the Garden District. The home has three beautiful master bedrooms and is decorated in an eclectic mix of bold colors and patterns and textures to give it a truly unique style. The home was listed for around $2.6 million and has since gone up in value. Jay-Z also owns a beautiful penthouse located in Tribeca. Jay-Z purchased his New York penthouse in 2004 for just shy of $7 million. It's an incredible 8,000 square feet. Well, you try bad then. Is that a country? Look, I never, I probably heard of Trump back then, but I don't know. That seems like a, Oh, Tribeca's in New York. Oh, my bad, New Yorkers. Bro, I never heard of Tribeca. It's a neighborhood in New York City. But that's a paint man. There's so many places and things in the world, bro, that's like, damn. Compete with an additional 3,000 square feet of outdoor terrace. The penthouse resides in a beautifully converted 1920s brick building and was quick to land in the tabloids when it was rumored to be the site of their 2008 beautifuls. Now on to their splashy guest, Diggs. Can you imagine having just shy of a million dollars to not drop on a condo, but to drop on a condo purely for house guests? As in, you never stay in it because you have your own penthouse around the corner? Well, that's what these two did in 2017. The spacious condo consists of three bedrooms and 11 foot high ceilings, and is located in New York. On top of all these, Jay-Z and B also dropped money on the property in the Hamptons to save on time renting. They dropped $26 million on the pond house, so they have a Hamptons getaway whenever they wanted. It's located next to a 17-acre nature reserve and a gorgeous view of Georgia Papan. Overall, it's safe to say Jay-Z and his family are spoiled for choice when it comes to places to stay. Anyone else jealous? Another big thing Jay-Z likes to spend his money on is investing. Jay-Z is known for investing in love. Well, I ain't, well, I ain't jealous. I'm inspired. You know, that's, 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 that's one thing that this world, you know, bro, I'm gonna be real with you. Like, it's so much things in this world and it's so much, like, why would you be jealous of somebody or envy somebody or hate on somebody? You know what I'm saying? Like, Bro, you're supposed to be inspired, especially if you're a man, bro. Like, bro, like, I'm not going to hate on another man. I'm not going to be envious of another man. <clears throat> the most I do is just be inspired. It's like, okay, if someone is quote unquote doing better than me, because I feel like nobody does better than anybody. It's just, well, it depends. But <laughs> I feel like everybody can have, like, you can have anything. You know what I'm saying? That's how it's just the time. You know what I'm saying? And, circumstances like it might take me longer it might take you longer but you'll still get it kind of if you you know you work for it and stuff like that you know so i don't hate on people i don't feel like you should either at all everybody should want everybody to win like bro think of it think of it like this if it was like a perfect world you know what i'm saying everybody just work 
You know what I'm saying? And I mean to wait work as in labor or slavery type ish, but like work towards your goals, focus on yourself, and it will be in a happy world. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody will be happy. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, man. I, I look at the world differently than a lot of people. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. A lot of money into a lot of different things to grow his millions. This includes a whole range of different industries and businesses. For starters, Jay-Z invested just shy of $400,000 into the Brooklyn Nets. All this didn't give him a huge stake in the team. They put his name out there and his foot through the door. In turn, it allowed him to lay his own share to start his own sports agency, Rock Nation Sports. Since its launch, the agency has signed a bunch of high-profile talent, so it's likely already reeling in a decent sum of money for Jay-Z and will continue to do so. Other investments include a stake in... <laughs> With Fundrise, you can invest here, from there, or there, from here. Our platform gives you access to premium real estate that was previously only available to institutions. So you can take. The Uber that's now worth over $70 million. Hey, Sean Cardiac, it is what it is. Tennessee, that's worth an estimated $100 million. He's also purchased the Scandinavian streaming services title. That's worth. Hey, that ad. Hey, some sort of ads get you, bro. Like, uh, at least check it out. Act like y'all ain't see that. Close to 100 million, as well as tons of other investment ventures. Now, on to his impressive art collection. If you are an art lover, prepare to be very, very jealous. Art has a special place in Jay Z's heart, and he owns a lot of it. He takes it pretty seriously, too, and even has his own art advisor, Gene Breeze Bohatia. Jay Z's collection, worth around $70 million, is vastly impressive and lines the walls of his property to add a personal touch. His song, Picasso Baby, as Jay Z mentioned, a Basquiat in my kitchen corner. And it's probably true. He spent the last decade or so collecting some truly beautiful masterpieces from various household names, including Basquiat's America, which he purchased in 2013 for around four and a half million dollars. Other pieces he's known to own include a Shepard Fairy, who's the genius behind Barack Obama's 2008 campaign poster, a Lori Simmons, a Damien Hurst, and more. He's mentioned tons of other popular artists and paintings in his tracks, including Picasso and the Vinci's Mona Lisa, but he obviously doesn't own these. Instead, it just shows is upheld appreciation for art. Let's talk about other kind of art. And hey, look, this is this is off topic too, but I heard like I saw something where somebody sold a piece of art that wasn't even there. Like it was just like I don't know. I think it was like this, you know, like y'all ever been to like Apple Store or something? You know, the phone sits on top of the uh, the uh, the desk or something. Yeah, it was pretty much like that. Like. Uh, and it was, it, but it was nothing there. And I think they got millions or something off that, bro. That was weird. It was like super weird. He has a deep rooted appreciation for cars. Like many people with money, Jay Z chose to spend a pretty portion of it on some luxury cars. In his garage is a Bugatti Veyron, which is valued at about $2 million. Aside from this, is a Rolls Royce Phantom, which is around $500,000, a Tesla Model S, and a Mercedes Benz luxury sprinter limousine. So he's always able to ride in style. The limousine alone costs around $170,000 and is splashed out with Wi Fi, a fully furnished bathroom, and a state of the art stereo system. But cars aren't the only luxury transport he owns. In 2012, he and Beyonce went in on a private jet together. 2012 brought another essence of luxury into Jay-Z's life in the form of a Bombardier Challenger 850. The beast is almost 90 feet long and is perfect for traveling in style. Able to fit 16 passengers, the jet is furnished with a living room, a kitchen, two bathrooms, and a couple of master bedrooms. Not too shabby. He's also the proud owner of not one, but two private islands. If you thought he had too much money before, God knows what you think now. Jay not only owns some million dollar mansions, but he's no, this man owned a private island, bro. Like, bro, I, I don't know. I know most people was like, they'll take that. How much was it? I think it was like six million dollars or something. It was some type of uh, money. Our uh, our our meeting with Jay Z. I don't know, bro. I feel because at first I was gonna take the money, but <laughs> I might just take that meeting, bro. I might say F the money for real. I might take that meeting because this man. Like, he knows something that we all know. He's actually purchased two luxury private islands. He gifted a 12 and a half acre island for Beyonce's 20th birthday, as well as also purchasing a $4 million island in the Bahamas. He bought this one in 2013 for a private vacation spot for the couple, as if they didn't have enough privacy in one of their $4 million properties. We're not judging, just jealous. Now, don't get the wrong impression. It's not all lavish houses and a spoiled lifestyle. I ain't jealous. I'm inspired. It's motivating me more. I was kind of feeling down today, but 
shit. And he a black man too. Oh, Jay Z is also a huge philanthropist too. Jay Z doesn't only spend his money on himself and growing his millions. He's a rather generous donator and charity founder too. Not only does he donate to a variety of different charities, he actually started his own organization. The Sean Carter Foundation was created by both Jay Z and his mom Gloria Carter. Its main goal is to help those in social economic hardships to take their education further to post-secondary institutions. Founded as a public charity in 2003, the charity has since raised over $4 million to support initiatives that empower youth in struggling communities. Some of the programs include a scholarship fund, college prep, and exposure, international exposure, professional development, and more. That's all the time we have for today, and all of the information we have on Rabbi Von Jay-Z. Well, Jay-Z, if you ever see this video, bro, I don't even want your money, bro. I, 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 I take the meeting, bro. Just... Just, you know, just get at me, bro. I'll take it. <laughs> Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe, man. Um, check the link in my description. I mean, in my description. Check the links out in my description. Um, y'all have a nice day, night. Appreciate y'all for watching.